Hi there. Oh, you're here again today. That's great. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're new, I hope you come back again because I have lots of fun stories to share with you. And today is a real fun story. And it's about not listening to what others say and to do only what you want to do. Come along and find out why you should only listen to yourself and not others. The miller, his son, and the donkey don't listen to everyone. A miller and his son were driving their donkey to a neighboring fair to sell him. They had not gone far when they met a group of women collected round a well, talking and laughing. Look there, cried one of them. Did you ever see such fellows to be trudging along the road on foot when they might ride? The old man hearing this quickly made his son mount the donkey and continued to walk along merrily by his side. Presently, they came upon a group of old men in earnest debate. There, said one of them, it proves what I was a saying. When your respect is shown to old age in these days, do you see that idle lad riding while the old father has to walk? Get down, you young scapegoat and let that old man rest his weary limbs. Upon this, the old man made his son dismount and got up himself. In this manner, they had not proceeded far when they met a company of women and children. Why, you lazy old fellow, cried several tongues at once. How can you ride upon the beast while your poor little lad there can hardly keep pace by the side of you. The good-natured miller immediately took up his son behind him, and they had not gone almost reached town. Pray, honest fellow, said the citizen, is that donkey your own? Yes, replied the old man. Oh, one would not have thought so, said the other. By the way you load him, why? You two fellows are better able to carry the poor beast than you. Anything to please you, said the old man, and we can try. So, alighting with his son, they tied the legs of the donkey together and with the help of a pole endeavored to carry him on their shoulders over a bridge near the entrance to the town. This entertaining sight brought the people in crowds to laugh at it till the donkey not liking the noise, nor the strange handling that he was subjected to, broke the cords that bound him and tumbled off the pole, fell into the river. Upon this, the old man, vexed and ashamed, made the best of his way home again, convinced that by endeavoring to please everybody, he had pleased nobody and had lost his donkey in the bargain. Wasn't that a fun story? Didn't you learn a lesson to only follow what you're going to do? Because you see what happens if you listen to everybody else? You know what? I've got a lot more stories to share with you, so please come back. And thanks for being here, and have a great day. Thank you.